Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Continuing our journey on Apex, today we'll see how we can create dynamic action on a button. So we'll be creating an Apex page wherein we'll be taking inputs from user and then inserting those records or those values into the table. So I'll just show you the table definition. I have already created the table. So the table name is employee tab and uh, these are the fields employee id first name last name email phone number hire date job id salary commission packed and manager id so uh, this was our table now uh, we'll try creating a page so just click on create page i want the page type to be blank page so just select blank page and click on next Now here uh, it asks you to specify the page number. I'll go with two and the page name I will give as employee info. Just click on next. Uh, I want to associate this page to a navigation menu and I want to select home as the uh, parent for it. So I'll just do that and click on next. So uh, this is the information the page number is 2 the the page name and the page title is employee info and this is the application into which this page is created just click on finish so now our page is created now i will just create the region uh, just click on the region and then click on create region so the type i will give i will leave it as static content uh, or and then and the name I'll give us main content. Uh, this is uh, a free text. You can give whatever you want. So now I'll just uh, start dragging the uh, components which will take the user input. So I'll go to items. So here I'll go to. Uh, text field and drag it into the into my region so I'll use this field to take the user's first name so I'll just remove or make the name as first name so this is the name and this is the label for it now I just want to arrange it or leave it will not do the arrangement and all uh, just to save time I'll show you in one of my next video where you can arrange and improve the aesthetic look of the page but we'll be doing that into some other video so uh, just to not go off the track from the main motive uh, and to save time I'll just keep it simple now similarly I'll drag a text field to take the last name Then we'll take uh, a text field to take the email ID. And I'll take a number field uh, to take the uh, salary. will be uh, not specifying all the fields as of now uh, we'll just try to insert value for all the all these four columns and however for the employee id the column will be automatically populated as uh, the definition says it is generated by default as identity and if you have not seen my video on the identity column please check that out i'll provide the link into the description so now uh, we are done with our fields now i'll just drop a button so on the click of that button the record will be saved so i'll just go with text with icon and i'll just drop it uh, here and i'll just make the name as summit so now on to this i'll just create a dynamic action just right click on the button uh, here's the dy dynamic action 
so I'll just na name it as uh, insert record now uh, this is the dynamic action the name is insert record so now uh, when the dynamic action is true uh, we'll be uh, running an uh, PL SQL code so I'll just select the execute server code now this is the section where you specify your insert statement so I'll just give insert into employee tab we'll specify the uh, fields into which we want the values to be insert I'll just give first name last name email I just check it whether it's email or email ID it's email and then the salary so now for values we'll just specify the name which we have given for each fields just uh, so it's work as a parameter so to specify that just uh, begin it with colon and just give the name so this was the name of my field comma colon uh, last name similarly colon and same we need to do for the salary So now we are done with the uh, statement to insert the record. Just click on uh, validate. Okay, it says it's not properly ended. Insert into employee tab. This, this, this. So colon was missed. So now it is validated. Our statement is correct. Uh, just click on OK. So now, uh, by now we have uh, defined the button and then we have defined a dynamic action on it and we have also specified the code for the same. Now here, uh, it asks us to items to submit. So basically it asks what page item has to submit uh, while running this uh, particular code. So if we don't specify uh, the items here, the value will not be saved into the database. So for that, just specify the items first name uh, last name email I'll, I'll not specify salary now I'll show you how uh, the values goes for all these three fields but not salary so now I'll just try uh, running this page okay it says the user ID and password is wrong Yeah, so uh, this is our page. I'll just make this main content as uh, uh, provide details just to make it more meaningful. And I'll just again run the page. So you see, uh, this is our fields which we defined. I'll just give the name. So now I'll show you the uh, table first. So this is the table, employee tab. Uh, we'll go to data now. So as of now, there is no record. Now I'll just click on submit here. 
and now we'll just refresh the page and see whether the record is inserted so see now the record is inserted and for the salary no value is inserted so uh, we need to specify it in the list of items to be submitted and we'll add some more options to a dynamic uh, action i'll just show you we'll go to back we'll go back to a page now so this is our page employee info so here on the dynamic action in this code i'll just add the salary button salary field also so now when i'll submit click on the submit uh, now the salary information will also go now here i want uh, some more uh, actions to be performed that is uh, i'll just create an action now here I'll just want an confirmation so can please so I'll just give the confirmation text us are you sure to submit are you sure to submit the uh, employee information so uh, every time uh, when you click on the button uh, it should ask uh, the user are you sure and also uh, the sequence of this should be before the execution of this PL SQL code so I'll just make the sequence as 10 here and this code sequence I'll make it as 20 So first on the click of the button it will ask the user uh, whether, the, uh, the, whether they are sure to create the record and then if they are sure they will, it will execute this particular code and I'll just create in one more action. So once uh, this now I'll just create one more action uh, just create action and now here I'll just click on uh, clear so it will you need to specify what items to be clear now because when you see when we have inserted the record even after insertion the other values are here we want at if after every insertion or uh, after every when we cancel it even uh, the when the page loads it should be empty so for that i'll just click on clear and then i need to specify the items which i want to clear so i want to clear the first name i want to clear the last name I'll go, I want to clear the email and the salary. So now uh, everything is done. I'll just save it and I'll execute my page. So now uh, it is there because on the page load we have not specified. So we'll uh, see that in some other video but uh, for now I'll just uh, show you here Ram I'll just give the name leave the name as Kulkarni and I'll just make the email ID as Ram and I'll make the salary as now here when I click on submit it will ask me for a confirmation then it will ask it will execute the PL SQL code and after that it will clear all the uh, items just click on submit so see it asks are you sure to submit the employee information I'll click OK. So now see every value is cleared and just I'll show you into the uh, database whether the records are inserted. So now here the salary information should be also there. So I'll just go to sorry workshop object browser and then go to employee tab. We'll go to data so now see 
and now here the salary information is also captured so hope you would have understand now how we can create dynamic action button. i'll make other videos also where we'll be creating other different kinds of dynamic actions so stay tuned and if you like my video please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends